In this tutorial series, you'll learn about list views in Android in order to create a basic grocery list app. The app has functionality such as removing items by clicking on this red minus sign over here, as well as removing items by long pressing on a row. We can also add items back to the list and pre by pressing on this button and you can see Apple has appeared at the bottom. And in addition, we can duplicate items by clicking on the copy icon. So orange has appeared at the bottom of the list and now Kiwi has as well. You learn how to do all of this and more starting from scratch in this tutorial series working with list views. So let's get started. I have a new Android Studio project over here and inside of my activity main.xml file, before I create the uh, list view, I'm going to have a relative layout at the top. Its width is going to match parent and its height is going to be 100 dp. This relative layout will contain the option for the user to add new items as shown over here. This is what we're going to do in the third tutorial in the series. So for right now, I'm just going to leave it blank and give it an ID of header. And once we have this done, we're going to create our list view. So I'm going to provide it with a width of match parent and a height of wrap content. And you can see on the right side what this list will look like. It shows us the rows underneath the design tab. I'm going to add two more things to it before we're done. So I'm going to give it an ID of list view. And then I'm also going to position it below our header. And now when we look in the design tab, we can see what that's going to look like. We have the space at the top for the header and our list view below it. So now that we have our layout complete, we can go over to mainactivity.java and fill our list view with items. So I'm going to have a list view object called list view and inside the onCreate method, list view is going to be equal to find view by id r.id.listView. And that's the ID we gave it in our XML file. So now if you were to run this, you would see that the list view is completely empty because we haven't filled it with any values. I'm going to create an array list of strings and this will contain the items that we want to add into our list view. So items will be a new array list and to save time, I'm just going to copy and paste some of the things that we want to add into this list. So we have apples, bananas, oranges, strawberries, kiwis, and mangoes. And you can add any string that you want in here. And just like how we had to create an adapter in our spinners tutorial series, we have to create an adapter for the list view. And this adapter basically holds the data that the list view will display. So I'm going to create an array adapter over here, uh, array adapter of type string. I'll call it adapter. And inside of my onCreate method, I'll say adapter equals new array adapter. And for the parameters, we do control P. You can see some of the things we've provided. We've provided with some context. So get application context, as well as the layout that we want for each row in our list view. So in the later tutorials, we'll see how to make our own custom layout with buttons and other things as shown earlier in this video. For now, we're just going to use the simple uh, list item one option over here from r.layout. And the third parameter that we have to provide it with is the items that we want to fill our list view with. So this is going to be this array list that we created called items. And the last thing we have to do to actually see these results is say list view dot set adapter and then adapter. Very much like we did with the spinners. And now if we run this, we'll see that our app has an empty list view inside of it. And it will display apple, banana, orange, strawberry, and all of these fruits. And you can see that we have this over here. We can click on each of these. Right now it does nothing we're going to change that in the upcoming tutorials. So that's it for this first video. It was a basic introduction to how to create list views in Android. In the upcoming tutorials, we're going to see how to do more things such as add items to a list view, remove items, and respond to gestures and clicks on the list view. Until then, make sure to subscribe and happy developing.